Good morning, Children Liturgy students. Welcome. It is Sunday, October the 31st, and it's the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. I hope you've had an incredible week, and I hope and pray you have a great week ahead of you. Now, I know, boys and girls, you're probably excited about today because it is called Hallow Eve. Hallow Eve, or Halloween, we say, but the, it is the day before, the day before All Souls Day. The month of November is very special because we remember all those that died and pray that they are in heaven. And so, boys and girls, this is a very important time. Maybe you know a, a family member, maybe a, um, a grandparent or aunt and uncle or someone who has died or maybe a friend who has lost a loved one. And we pray for them. We pray that they're in heaven with Jesus and we pray for them. And also November 2nd is a very special day. It's All Saints Day. And we remember all the saints, there's so many of them. Now, boys and girls, you see in the picture, um, a scribe, the man with the, um, with the um, uh, sort of uh, cape over his head, which was very traditional and the lines indicating that he was a scribe. So he's an important uh, person in the uh, Jewish faith. Um, and he is asking Jesus some really incredible questions. And Jesus is very pleased with his questions. Um, and of course, Jesus is there on the right. So let's get started. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, be with us, be with the children, and um, guide us and share your gifts, fruits with us. Uh, we ask this in your name, Jesus. Thank you for listening. Thank you for all our blessings. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so boys and girls, let's read. Get started. As I mentioned, it's the 31st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Okay. So the first reading is from Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verses 4 to 6. Moses said to the people, People of Israel, listen. We have only one God. You and you must love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. This is God's commandment. Keep these words in your heart. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is Psalm 18. I love you, God, for you are my strength. Together, I love you, God, for you are my strength. You are my God. Together, I love you, God, for you are my strength. I give you my praise. Together, I love you, God, for you are my strength. You are my God. Together, I love you, God, for you are my strength. The Gospel Acclamation. Love God with all your heart. Alleluia, alleluia. Love your neighbor as yourself. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel according to Mark. Chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. One of the teachers of the Jewish law came to Jesus and asked him, Which one of the commandments is the most important? And Jesus said, The most important commandment is this. You must love God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And the second most important is this. You must love your neighbor as same as you love yourself. The man who asked Jesus the question said, teacher, you are right. We have only one God. And we must love God with all our heart 
with all our mind and all our strength. And we must love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Doing this is more important than anything else we could do for God. And Jesus was pleased with what the man said. And he told him, you are very close to the reign of God. This is the good news of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is very, very impressed with this man. And what is the most important? Like this is an incredible gospel. And we also hear it echoed in what Moses tells the Israel people. Um, we have two things. And if we can remember these two things, these just two simple things, our life here on earth will be so incredible, even when things are not going well. And will be so incredible after this life and those two things are to love god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength and to love others as you love yourself let's do that action so we can remember the two most important things in the whole world, nothing comes before these two things, is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength, and to love one another as you love yourself. So let's do that one more, two more times, okay? Because these are the two most important things that you can possibly know, and we want to make sure that we remember them. Are you ready? You're ready. Okay, let's get started. The two most important commandments, the two most important things that we need to remember is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength and to love one another as you love yourself. Ready for the next one? It is the two most important things in the whole world, right? Is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And to love one another as you love yourself, right? Those are the most important things. Now, I actually have a picture here to show you. There. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength, and to love one another. These are the most important things. So, how can we, how can we love one another? How can we love one another better? How can we love God more? Well, how did God love us? God made the ultimate sacrifice to open the gates of heaven for us. He took our place on the cross and died for all our sins. He destroyed sin and he destroyed death. That certainly is an act of love, isn't it, boys and girls? Absolutely. What else did Jesus do? Yes, God listened to other people. Jesus, when he was here on earth, he listened to people. What else did Jesus do? Right. Jesus helped others. He actually performed something we can't do. He performed miracles, right? He healed people. What else did he do? He fed them when they were hungry. What else did he do? He told them about heaven. He told them about the truth of God. Yes. It was incredible how God, Jesus loved us. And he came to serve us. Instead of most kings, they come and expect others. But Jesus came to serve us. Now, how can you and I love God? How can you and I love God? By praying? Right, we can pray formal prayers that we know. We just talk to him. It's, he wants a relationship with you. Remember, 
that no one else in the whole world, not even mom and dad, and we know mom and dad love us so incredibly much, our moms and dad and our siblings, right? They, they all love us and we know that mom and dads love us so, so, so much. But there's one who loves us even more than that and that's God, right? He loves us the most. And so God wants to spend time with us. He wants to know us. So he wants to have a relationship with us. And we can show our love to God by saying, okay, when you wake up in the morning, say, you know, Jesus, everything I think or I feel or I do today, I'm going to give to you because I love you so much. And I'm going to love others. Yeah, that's a simple thing. And when things are going well, we remember to say thank you to God. And we always praise God, no matter what's going on. Praise to you, Jesus. Or just saying the word Jesus is a prayer. We do know that God hears every single one of us. So it's important to be in conversation with God. Think about God or talk to him. You know, In your head, you can say, oh God, what should I do here? What's the right thing to do? Or God, give me the strength to do the right thing. And God, by the way, someone I know needs some prayers. God wants a relationship with you. So that is talking about how we can love God, right? And sometimes it's hard to do the right thing, but he'll help us. Now to love one another, how can we do that? How can you love others? Right, you can love others by helping them. Maybe you can help a mom and dad or a family member. Maybe you can help somebody who's younger than you that maybe needs some support. Maybe they are having trouble with school and you know what to do right or what else could you do you could help maybe grandparents or you could call someone who maybe lives alone with all this covid stuff right what else can you do you could play with someone you could spend time with someone who maybe doesn't have a friend at school what else can you do right you can just be there you can just listen right you can listen to other people what else can you do? Yeah, you can you can do things to help others, even if it's hard to do, right? To talk to someone that maybe no one else talks to. So many things to do. Boys and girls, if you remember, as I said, this is a very special week because um, today is Halloween, the day before um, All um, Souls Day, we remember uh, for the whole month of November, all those um, that have died, right? And we think about them and we pray to Jesus to um, to make sure that they're well and in, in heaven. And on November 2nd, we remember all saints, all the saints, right? St. Anthony, Padre Pio, and all the saints, Lucy, and the ones that we may not even know of that are saints. God bless you. Have a fantastic week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.